So this is Halifax's first bicycle activated crosswalk. Um, it uh, works as a half signal, signalized crosswalk. So you have the crossings on this side and over there, um, crossing the main street and the vehicle traffic is only controlled on the main street. Uh, side street traffic is forced to turn right, uh, except for bicycles where you can see in the dotted green lines there, they can go straight or left. And there's some Wavetronics sensors that actually I just helped finish programming. Uh, people are confused and are still turning left. Um, like this guy right here in the car. But people will figure it out. They should have installed the new signs on these, but they didn't. But anyway. Um, so if a bicycle comes up in these lanes, it will actually change the pedestrian signals because the bicycle signals are not enabled in Nova Scotia yet. Um, they will be in 2021, hopefully, and we'll see some on that center pole there with the right turn compulsory sign and on that one over there. Um, it will make it a little more, a little, well, a little less confusing for, or for uh, bicyclists. Um, it's also the first active IN2 Polara navigators here as well. So we'll give them a push. There used to be a regular crosswalk right here, but now it's uh, it was kind of a weird offset intersection. Um, I set up the detection zones in those little lanes, so hopefully cars won't pick them up, but I think it will be inevitable that uh, cars will drive into those lanes and change the lights by mistake. So changing the, yeah, just like what happened right there. So he was, he went into the lane and it will change the lights. Um, there's a dead load switch in there, or kind of a dummy load switch in the cabinet, and it will be the future bicycle signal. Um, so basically, uh, there has to be a vehicle signal with the pedestrian lights. So that will, that will all, the Wavetronics will always change the pedestrian signals as well. So there you go, back to green. So, if I walk in this lane, I am now in the detection zone, and I really, realistically should be changing these lights at some point. I don't know how long I need to stand in them for. Maybe I'm not big enough to pick up, but it did pick me up on the computer system. Anyway, it might might pick me up, might not. Anyway, you guys get the idea. There's no main street sensors, so once the traffic lights here have reached their uh, minimum green time, they'll just rest in green. Um... I might actually just not be uh, big enough to be picked up by the sensors. So that's actually a good feature. Uh, you don't want people walking by setting the lights off. But cars will inev inevitably do that. So let's press this again, and it should change immediately. There's also no preemption here, but you don't really need it. They're nice buttons. I would have had the cuckoo sound go a little faster, but I didn't program them, so. You can see the bicycle symbols on the road, so it's kind of a weird offset street, but 
hopefully uh, people will start listening to the signs pretty soon um and i'll check back in eventually when pedestrian or uh, when bicycle signals get installed here so thanks for watching